Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install mods into Cassette Beast. But before we get started with the video, I do want to do a, a little disclaimer. Just realize anytime when you guys do any modded content, there is always the possibility of save files getting deleted, stuff getting corrupted. So I just want to put that out there before we actually start with the video. So I was on the Cassette Beast Discord and I ended up finding this website. I'll post it right above me. but. Yeah, so once you guys get onto the website here, uh, the one mod that kind of got my attention, which the rest of these mods that I see so far are actually pretty cool, especially this Romance Kaylee resting dialogue. I wish there was more in the actual game. Kaylee's like one of my favorite characters. But uh, if we keep going down, there's some really cool, uh, some really cool mods that have already been created. Uh, but the one that I want to actually look at is the extra file slots. This particular mod was actually created by the devs themselves. So I know for sure that this one does work, but do use the Discord as kind of a reference to ask questions if you aren't not, you know, not sure about how stable the mod is. But I know this one for sure is pretty stable. It was made by the dev. Obviously, if for some reason something changes, they'll post an update on the Discord. But so to get started, what we need to do is actually click on the mod. What we need to do is download. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this on over. You guys probably see a bunch of my clip art that I was working on from previous videos. But what we need to do is we need to find the zip file that downloaded. So I already know this is the one. So you right click on it and then Extract all, extract. So it's gonna auto open here, but just for reference, it's gonna create it basically the same folder, but unzipped. So in this case, we're gonna open this one up right here. So I definitely recommend when you do open them up, if there is a readme here, to actually read what's going on. So in this case, the readme here is extra file slots, cassette beast mod by Tom. For installation instructions, see the wiki. So if we go to the if we go to the wiki, the wiki is pretty much just going to show us how to do it, but I'm gonna save you guys some time and I'm actually gonna do it for you guys. So what we need to do is get this PCK file into the modded folder. So what we need to do is actually find where the modded folder is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in the, the address link right up above me. Once we get there, uh, the top of your screen should have app data, roaming, and then cassette piece. And then you should see something similar like this. Unless you guys have already done and already added some mods previously, you'll already have a mod folder. But in my case, I haven't done any extra mods or anything. So you're going to see this as a clean slate. So what we need to do is right click, click on folder, call it mods. And then what we need to do is drag over this PCK folder into mods. So let's double click it. As you guys see, it's there. So the next step is we need to start the game up. Let me get the game started. Okay, so we got the game loaded and just to confirm the mod actually got installed, what we need to do is look in this lower left-hand corner. As you guys see, we are on current version 1.1.3, which is the current game version. I've purchased the cosplay pack DLC, which you guys see right there. And then what also what you guys see is the extra file saves version 1.0 by Byton Studios. So what does that actually look like? Actually, as you guys see, originally the game only comes with three here. As you guys see, we have one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, like there's a ton more save files 
that that are included with this but uh yeah so basically this mod adds seven extra slots for a total of 10 file slots so i think it's a really cool mod just to be honest it doesn't do anything drastic but for me as being a content creator it allows me to create separate game files to do separate things i have my main game file i have my demo now i can do maybe a you know a randomizer or like in the videos previously you guys saw me uh just you know modding in just random levels you know leveling up all the way to 100 instantly or you know spawning in ritual candles so if i ever decide to do like a collab with gym leader ed again doing a shiny hunt or you know a bootleg hunt now i don't have to you know risk my save file i can just do a, get a bunch of ritual candles and and just do a you know thing like that but yeah that's how you guys install mods into cassette beast if you guys have any other further questions let me know down below but other than that i will see you guys in the next one take care guys